photos. No photos. No photos. Keeping spirits high this morning and Glenn's whipping up. <laughs> Yummy brekkie! What is this? It's like an egg scramble. Like a, yeah, big scramble. It's not your famous potato hash, but no. it is pretty close. No. <laughs> Still pretty damn good though. Yeah. So we can't actually move Vance, but we can live out of him. <laughs> yeah, we can still utilize him. <laughs> it feels so weird. Very strange. To just be living out of him normally and like can't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, baby. All right. Yum, yum, yum. Wow. Joy in the little things, right? <laughs> so on Tarn and Reese's spot is what we call the hub. It's basically just a marquee with walls that we had as like a hangout place with chairs and a table and all that. Um, and since Vance is leaving us soon and we still have to be here, mm. it's going to become it's our home. Our home. <laughs> For a little bit for about a few weeks actually two weeks we're gonna yeah. take vance's our mattress topper off and put it in here yeah this is gonna be interesting <laughs> that's bigger than this yeah actually <laughs> so much room. not just too not shabby definitely not as homey and i don't know how just a single mattress topper on this wooden plank is gonna go sleeping wise but oh. all part of the adventure mm. loving this mm. yay we're trying to be the most resourceful during this entire shambles. Um, we're going to be here for another two weeks. And yes, this is not going to be glamorous or comfortable in the slightest, especially if it's windy at night. We're going to be screwed. But we're trying, yeah, to not, you know, just buy a tent and a mattress and then throw it away. Um, also trying to be the most cost effective because this is going to be, this whole time is very expensive to say the least. So we are just going to, make the most of this and enjoy our little home for a little bit. <laughs> really hoping that the surf is good so we don't have to spend that much time here. Another day at the campsite. So I'm trying. We've made a lot of banana bread in the past, so I'm sure you've seen, but I'm making almost like banana bread donut slash bagels on the stove. I don't know how they're going to turn out, but it's normally on the stove, particularly our one, it gets really hot. So often, like, sometimes I might leave, have to leave it a bit long to get the middle cooked through, so I figure I might as well just remove it and... I don't know. <laughs> Something different. I was not expecting them to rise just so much. But, looks pretty damn yummy. Have to reassess. They were definitely too thick. So I've just cut it in half like a bagel and now I'm just gonna do the inside. And it should be like a toasted banana bagel donut thing. Here they are. Put a little bit of the old pan. Pretty good, but very scone textury. Goodness. Try it. What is this? Yeah, I think it's more like a scone, but. Wow. Is it good? That's pretty good. There's more to come. It's kind of dry, but. <laughs> yeah, very sconey, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's good though. I think I've learned my lesson. We're going way bigger hoop. It's more like calamari, but I'm sure that'll change in the next couple of minutes. That one worked better, for sure. But I sort of butchered it while checking if it was cooked through. So of course, both times the charm. A little flatter, a little bigger. I reckon we'll be right. Oh yeah, that is looking good. A bit odd, the shape, but man, that's some seriously good bready texture. 
<laughs> Glenn has just been on a baking <laughs> spree today. I don't know why. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to do. Um, so he made bagels. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to TikTok. We've never done them before, but we no. saw a TikTok video that inspired us, and I have everything bagel seasoning from home. If you know, you know. So we're gonna make these, put everything bagel seasoning on, and then we'll have everything bagels. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, we don't have an oven, so we're gonna try stove top them. <laughs> stove top bagels, let's, let's I see don't how know. this goes. <laughs> so in this TikTok video, it said that you're supposed to boil them for a minute on a minute each side. Each side. And then you put them, well, you're supposed to put them then and in the then, oven. Yeah, but not us. Not us. Okay. <laughs> this looks so weird. I'm sure there's supposed to be a, the right way to pull these out. But... Whoa! Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> oh no, be careful. <laughs> so, it actually looks okay. I just don't know if they're even cooked. But yeah. It's gonna be really hot. So now I'm gonna try one of our really like warped ones. <laughs> Lost the hole. <laughs> and just whack it straight in and see what sort of a difference that makes and if the boiling is necessary. There are probably bakers out there that are <laughs> really annoyed that I just did that, but I mean we may I as mean... well <laughs> just become a cooking channel at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a pretty demented one. Oh, wow. But it actually looks pretty good. That one just went straight into the pan, so. Yeah, the, no I think that's boil what we'll method. Do from now on. I might just try and do that for all of them and just see what happens. We're going to have so much dough here. <laughs> what are we going to do with all these bagels? I don't know. We'll give them around the campsite. <laughs> wow. That actually okay. looks. Ah, it's hot. Ah. Actually looks quite nice. Look at that. Wow. Whew. Let's see how this goes. Ah, they look good. They're really hot. That's good. Wow. That's like deep fried bagel. <laughs> Don't know what we're going for, but <laughs> it's really good. Mm. Yep. Not your conventional bagel. Yeah, but you but know. But you could cut them and then toast it and yeah. you have like the toasted bits as well. True. But man, it's, it's good. Really good. Welcome home. <laughs> wow. Lovely. Lovely. I can't believe this is our new home. <laughs> As long as it's not windy. Yep. It's not too loud, but it's pretty loud. Yeah. If the wind comes through, it gusts heaps. Hi, Lele. But view isn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how it goes sleeping on a mattress topper. Right, Lele? You sleep in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. You sleep in the dirt and yeah, you like you it. Can stay there. You're filthy. <laughs> You're filthy. Good morning. Good morning. Well, lovely and awake. <laughs> We've had a very windy night in our little abode, which means it's very loud and hard to sleep. Mm. But today's the day. Today is the day. We have the Shaping Dreams film premiere, which we're so excited about. So the last like the last few days have been primarily just going over and over and over again. Sorry about the noise. We um, can't hide okay. <laughs> yeah, we can't get out of this. Uh, finalizing all the edits and things like that. Um, we've managed to get a surf or two in. And then we also got to finally meet um, Max and Oki. The Max and Oki are people that we've been following. Years. Years, really, yeah. I remember we were just like, came across them when we were looking at stuff for our own van life before we even, I think before we even had Vance. Yeah. Um, we've chatted to Max a fair bit over the past couple of years and then we've finally been in the same place at the same time. So the dogs got to meet Oki and yeah, had a nice little dinner there and that was really, really cool. Mm. So I've hung out with him a little bit the last couple of days too. But mostly just getting this film 
ready to go. The first one we've ever done, so it's just crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and yeah. we're ready. Very first short film ever, and now we're just premiering it for... <laughs> We don't even know, it people. might be no one that comes tonight. We might just have a fancy venue for all of us to watch it, watch it have a couple of beers and call it a night. But it should be a really fun night. And my parents surprised me as well, yeah. which is unbelievable. They've, they're from Coffs, they've had to come from Coffs Harbour, so that's fly from Coffs Harbour to Sydney, Sydney to Perth, then Perth to Exmouth. Such if, a journey. If anyone knows, that's a lot, a lot of time. Um... Originally they wanted to, but it all seemed really difficult, which makes sense because the trouble's so hard. But yeah, they just drove into a car park yesterday and completely blew us away. So I haven't seen them in like, in like two, two years. years. Yeah. So it's so special having them here as well for it, which is, yeah, it's going to be such a fun night. But mm. this morning we just sort of... Make coffee. Yeah, yeah, coffee and try and look a little... <laughs> More presentable brighter. for tonight. <laughs> It's so cool. Oh my god, that was such a fun, fun night. So much fun. Like, we could not have expected more, like... Yeah, the turnout was insane. Yeah. We couldn't believe it. Like, we were setting up and few people arriving in dribs and drabs and then yeah once it actually hit like quarter to seven blew us away we yeah. are so grateful for everyone that came along um yeah. to support the film and the <laughs> here's us you know i think this <laughs> we have a successful film premiere one day and now we're in our tent that has less sides on it by the night because it tore in half from the wind <laughs> We have a garbage truck coming and someone drilling nearby. This lifestyle, high highs, <laughs> low lows, let me tell you. <laughs> what a contrast. Um, but yeah, the boys from Sturt Avenue played so incredibly well. It was such a fun night. We, we're just blown away, honestly. Physically blown away yeah. and emotionally blown away. Blown in away. all regards. <laughs> but now the film is live. Yeah, it's over yeah. at our um, Soulside channel. Yeah, yeah, so we'll put the link up here. We'd love it if you Somewhere. subscribe. We'll have more short films out there. Yeah, and it's, it's a very exciting new chapter, and we'd love your feedback on the film. Um, yeah, so go check it out. <laughs>